right, so set up, you've got your high side, your low side, and then we've got both uh, both of these valves opened down here, so we've got refrigerant up here, and then uh, I opened this line here, and basically you want to make sure that you purge out these lines just a little bit to get the uh, any residual air out of these lines. Uh, and then I open this, uh, it's going to force the refrigerant down through this tube, and then you can crack this and crack this and then purge out at the tank to make sure that all these lines are purged. So now at this point we have refrigerant all the way through down here and all the way into the tank. This valve is still closed. And next we basically need to uh, turn this on. Okay, so if you have liquid in the system, you can recover it uh, first. But basically, these should, uh, you know, following the instructions should do you. But basically, I mean, this, this has been vacuumed, so we're all good to go. Flip that open. Um, zero your scale, so make sure that it's reading zero there so we can actually track the amount that we've recovered. Then uh, we open the manifold gauge set. Then we open the outlet valve on the unit. Okay. And then toggle the power switch to the on position and then slowly uh, open the valve here. So we're gonna flip this on. And then you can hear that going. Apparently that wasn't open enough. But so now we've got that screwed down more. We've got pressure here. And that's gonna start to uh, pull the pressure into this unit and into the tank. You can hear it whooshing in there. And then you'll see the uh, amount of refrigerant in this list start to uh, creep up. Pretty nifty. All right, so we're reading up about 11.7, 11.8 ounces of refrigerant recovered. Are uh, approaching full vacuum there, so I think we're, we're ready to shut it off. So basically now we can shut off these gauges here. One on the left. There's a lot of spinning going on here. One on the right. And then we can go ahead and uh, inlet valve to the closed position and then turn it off. So we want to close that too. And we should be good to go. So it's all recovered. Uh, now what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, replace the evaporator and we'll see how our performance improves. And if we take a look here at the specification, we should have had uh, 20... 21.2 to 22.8 uh, ounces of charge. So we're about half of that, which means we were quite low, but the pressures were still high. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the uh, evaporator. And I'll be good to go.